We're in the docking with a challenge. Yes, folks, we're back out, we're mudlarking, got a gorgeous river, little bit high, but still plenty of scope for us to have a look along the edges and some lovely scenery and a dump. What more could a mudlarker want? Well, today we've got more because we have our mudlarking challenge. Oh, look at that. That's going to be fun. I have two copies, one for Caroline and one for myself. And we're going to be looking for a vulcanite stopper a meat paste pot, marmite or bovril jar, a ball, gotta have a ball, a toy, any toy, a bottle with writing on, a brick with a name on, coloured glass bottle, willow pattern and a pipe stem or bowl. Right. And I'll mm. be hunting, Caroline will be hunting, she's got the camera so you'll be able to keep a track on her and I'll be coming back at regular intervals to let her know how I'm doing. So there we go. Come with us as we do our Let's Go Mudlarking Challenge. Come on. Right, this stump has been all moved about and jiggled about and bulldozed. So there could be other things showing today than when we were last year. Let's have a look and see what sort of things is here. There's a little jawbone. There's jawbones everywhere. And what's this? Oh, I thought it was a little inkwell, but it's not. It's the top of a bottle and a mug handle. Oh, look. Ha, ha, ha. We found something off our list. Marmite or bovril jar. Ooh. Number one in the bag. Well, number three. <laughs> look at all these bits of broken things. Oh, there's a button. No, oh, it's not in very good condition. It's a little pearl button, and I can't believe this, it's raining again. It's supposed to be dry this morning, but can you see the spotty stones? It's rain. Ooh, what's that? I can see the neck of something. Oh, it is just the neck of something. It's plastic. Hmm. I wonder what that was. There's a plastic lid there, that's broken. 
lots and lots of bits and pieces. Ah, here's a little jar. Is that on my list? Coloured glass bottle? Mm, it's more of a jar than a bottle, isn't it? So I don't really think it's going to count. Nothing on here. It's not a meat paste pot. We've got our bottle jar, so nope, that doesn't cover us. We'll keep looking. Oh, we've seen a few of those around here. Then I cope in stony thing in a wood effect. Hmm, let's have a look what else we can see. My poor list is very grubby already. It's very mucky and muddy down here. Hmm, bricks? Ooh, any writing on these bricks? No, there's half a brick with some writing on, but we need a whole brick. So that's not going to be good enough. Metal screen. Ooh, a huge tough. That's not on the list. Ooh. Right, I can see the water. I'm really tempted to get in. I've got my wellies on, and these haven't got holes in like last time. So come on, pop your wellies on. We're going in. Oh, oh can you feel the cold? Coming straight through my wellies, my dears. Oh, that's chilly. green there. Just a green stone. Oh no. Oh, I've just developed another hole in my wellies. Oh, I don't have another wet foot. Oh well. It'll keep me cool. It's got me overheating. There's a little bit of, oh that's the bottom of a light bulb do you think? Oh. Like some washers all joined together. Copper. Hmm. How are you doing? All right. I'm doing well, but mm -hmm. I'm not doing terribly well on the list. Ah, right. <laughs> got some interesting things. That's not the point of the mudlark, though, you no, naughty I, boy. I thought that was Ooh, so interesting. It looks, like a, it, it looks like a light fitting, possibly. Oh, yes. An industrial light fitting, mm, as opposed like a to an insulator. Obviously, it is insulated. Yep. There's a screw in there, and there's a place for wires in the mm, back. So they probably had a glass bulb sticking out the top of that screw bit then. Now, when this was buried, I had hope it have words on it. Oh, it hasn't, is it? No! Oh, what a shame. Yes, it is a cute bottle, though. It is. And I have got a coloured bottle. Oh, well done. So there we go. I've got one off my list. Oh, look at the rain. So there we go. I've got one off my list. One down, nine to go. Right. Do you want to see what we got off the list? No, because i got an horrible feeling you're beating me. Because no, 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 no. As no. per usual, I've been in deep engrossed conversation with someone. Oh, you got one of them! You've got a bottle jar. Oh, very good. Now that doesn't double up as a coloured bottle. No, mate. we know we're still looking. You got to get a coloured bottle as well. Right, let's keep looking. Oh look, it's blue. It's a bottle, but it's broken. What a shame! That doesn't count. We keep looking. Don't forget everyone, shout if you see something. I need all the help I can get if we're going to win this challenge. We've got a plain glass jar there. And there's a... Looks like an ink jar. But it's not coloured. And there's the bottom of a hobnail boot. But that's not on the list. Hmm. Got the neck. Oh no, it's the bottom of a bottle there. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, there's a mirror. Can you see yourself in the mirror? It's not a very big bit of mirror, is it? Right. Keep looking, keep looking. We need x-ray eyes. Oh, look what I found. Look what I found. I'll just wipe the camera because there may be some rain on it. Ha ha ha! Look what we found! Oh, it's a bit broken. It's a vulcanised bottle stopper. Nothing on it either, so although it does cover us for our list, which is now dropped on the floor, I'm still going to look for something else. Oh, look, 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 look! Right here, it's only little, but it's a bit of willow pattern as well. Oh, we're doing well! Ah, hello, I Phil. I've got something. Have you? Yeah. What have you got? 
I've got a damp list. Yeah, me too. <laughs> because it's raining. Yep. But I don't care because I've got Paste pot and look, it's a nice little one. Yeah, and oh, that's the, cute. I found our one, so I picked it up because yep. I found it after I found our one. Oh, a bigger one. Yeah, so we got two paste pots. We've got a bottle we're writing on. Oh, excellent. Hazelwoods Products Limited. There we go. I think we had one of those on a previous visit. I think so, yes. The, the wonky top wobbly mm. one. There's a bottle I picked up which I hoped it had writing but didn't, but it's yep. a hip flask. Yep, it's not coloured or anything either. Yep, it's not a screw so, top. Nope. So, so I thought it was interesting. It doesn't count part of the challenge, but it's still a nice no. find. And the reason I picked this up is mm -hmm. I'm hoping that the lid we had, yeah, we had an insulator, but it had snapped there. Yeah. So this one would look more complete sat on our shelf. Right. So I'm going to take that home and give it a go. Good idea. There we go. And I'd like to say a big thank you to Richard, who's been giving us phenomenal information about the insulators. Brilliant comments and really interesting stuff. He's, he's a collector of insulators and he has said that in future when he visits Wales he's going to check the rivers because we're obviously doing well on our insulators down here. So thank you very much Richard. Uh-huh, now Richard was telling us about these insulator bars to stop the birds getting an electric shock. And apparently they're very rare. Now we left this one last time because we just couldn't carry it, it was too heavy. And apparently that's not a Chinese symbol. It's a bee or something. We'll go and check with Phil now. Phil, you'll remember better than us. We've oh, yeah. got this. Now, what is the symbol on there? The, the symbol is, I believe, a hand holding something. I right. forget what, an insulator. <laughs> we'll have to check. A hand holding an insulator. Because, right. of course, Carly thought it was a Chinese symbol. And i got to admit that when Richard sent the comment, he did put a lol on it when he said <laughs> Chinese symbol. But actually, they are to go along the metal plates on the top of the old poles. The insulators would have been here, coming through the circle. They'd have joined together and it was to stop, as he put it, birds exploding when they landed <laughs> on top of the metal plates. So there we are. That is knowledge we've gathered from one of our supporters. So we really appreciate all your help and comments. Great. But it's not on the list. No, not on the list. <laughs> oh, well, keep looking. Eyes down. Let's see what we can find. Oh, that's long. Let's have a look at that. Now, that's strange. What is that? Oh, look, it's a glass bar. What on earth is that? Oh, it's solid. Well, I've never seen anything like that. What do you think that is? Does any of you, do any of you recognise it? That's really nice. I love it. It's probably an inch square. It's like a big ice cube. What is that? Oh, I really, really like it. I got two more. Oh, let's have a look what you got. I was half a willow pattern. Oh, that's nice. It's quite that's a... a Good Chunk, piece of it? bowl, yes. There we are, I can see the pattern down there. Yep. And we were going to use that as a ball. Yes. But then we got a genuine golf ball. Right, because that's a bead, is it? So you've got a golf ball and is it a bead? I don't know, but it mm, was round. So strange. We, we were going to pass it off as a ball. Were you? <laughs> Naughty. <laughs> but then we decided that was better. Do you want to see what we found? Oh, what are they? I thought it was two bits of broken bottle, but this solid, solid glass. glass. What they on earth is that? Not quite. No. I'm not sure if there's a bit missing. Yeah. But they're lovely. They just really appeal to me, so I'm taking those home. Right here. Pop them in the bag. Lots of broken jars. Now this isn't on our list, but it's so pretty I'm going to pick it up and show you. Look at that. I think that's Majolica. Very nice. And what's this? Ah, a bit of plastic. We take that home, pop it in the bin. What's this shoe? A mm, piece of milk glass. Thought it was a doll's leg. Mm, something metal sticking out here. Oh, I know what that is. That's the car door handle off. Quite an old car. Oh, that's a nice find. Yep, I like that. Oh, is that a marble? Oh, look. It's a bulb. 
it's okay fine but i thought it was a marble oh and what's this you oh that's a bit of plastic i I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it could be lino. Isn't that pretty? Yep, that's coming home and going in my lino collection. Guess what I found? Um, what's Phil found? I found a brick. Oh, well done. <laughs> Let's first, have a look. At first, I didn't think it had words on, but then I rubbed a bit of dirt onto it, and I could see the faded Abersachan Brick Company. Well done. So I got my brick. Impressive. Uh, well, if we don't win, at least we found the brick first, which I felt was important. Well, I can't find my list, <laughs> so we're struggling a little bit, but... Have a little look at mine, what's left of it. Let's have a look. What do we still need? We need a um, meat paste pot, a ball, a toy, a bottle with writing, a brick with a name on, a glass bottle, coloured glass bottle, willow pattern we got, and pipe stem or bowl. Oh, we got a lot to find yet. I have just spotted something. Oh, right, is he on the list? Yes. Where is it? Stop there, I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, yes, well done. You've got a vulcanised bottle stopper. Which means... Spirit, is it? I've got a vulcanised bottle stopper. I've got another paste pot with ship them on. A cute oh, little nice. One. Um, I've got a ball. I've got a bottle with writing on. I've got a brick with a name on. I've got coloured glass. I've got willow patterns. So all I need is a pipe stem, uh -oh. a toy and a marmite jar. Right, this is just not so fair. So do you on the list? Because I yes, can remember please. the few I need to find. Okay, right, we need to go looking. Quick, on your way, we need what, to go looking before you win. mine before I go? I think it says, oh, Burbot, B-I-R-B-O-T. Oh, there we go. Whatever Burbot is. Off we go. Is that a marble or another bulb? No, it's another bulb. Have a rummage. We've got the neck of a bottle, another neck of a bottle. Aha, we found a brick. J and C Limited Risker. What's on the back? Oh, anything? No, clear on the back. Oh, that's an engineering brick. It's very heavy. Right, we'll just tell Phil we found a brick. I'm not carrying that. What's this? A strange plastic tube. We'll take that home, put it in the bin. Aha, just to show that we're really good at finding bricks. Grey D B J and Co Limited Ponty Ponia Pontypool. Aha, another brick. I don't think we get points for two bricks though. Hmm. Right, come on everyone, we really need to try and catch up with Bill. He's beating us. Oh, look at that! Oh, isn't that beautiful? It's amber glass. It's got lots of pattern on. But it's broken. I don't think it would count anyway because it's not a bottle. It's a vase or a vase. Oh well. Oh now look at this. We found a bottle. Got some writing on it. Mason's okay sauce. But it's broken. That doesn't count. Hmm, what about this plate? Anything on there? Nope. And, oh, is this a whole bottle? It could be. Oh yes, I thought it was just the neck. Oh come on, be coloured and have writing on it. Oh look! It is just the neck, but it was a longer neck. Oh. Aha, uh you're -huh, some sort of textile here. Oh, there's not a lot of it. Let's have a look. Oh, I like that, it's very pretty. I'm gonna take that home and wash it. And if I find any more textiles, perhaps we can make a collage of a mudlarking character. Hmm. That could be a bit of fun. We'll do that. And well, there's a really pretty shaped bottle with a screw top. And there's something blue over here. I don't know what it is. It could be nothing. I just want to have a look because it's so bright. Now it's top of a pen, possibly. Something like that. Plastic, so we take it home, pop it in the bin. Now what's this? I think that's off the bottom of a tennis racket, do you think? quite stiff but I'm going to take that home, warm it up with a hairdryer and see if I can flatten it or perhaps put it under the towel and iron it and that would be good for my mudlarking collage too. Oh I like that. Yep that's definitely coming with us. Oh there's some yellow plastic. We find a lot of toys here or bits of toys so that's probably off a bit of toy. Oh no 
I think this is probably one of those twigs that pretends to be a pipe stem. But let's have a look. Oh, I don't know. Let's see. No, I think that could be a pipe stem. Let's check. Yes, we found a bit of pipe stem. Oh, brilliant. I don't know if Phil's found one yet. Hopefully that will give us a bit of a head start because that's one of the more difficult ones to find in this area. We've got this area that looks really interesting and I'd love to rummage in, but Phil has already been here. So if there's anything on the challenge list, he will have already taken it. So we're going to find a new bit of dump. So I think we'll go on to the next level. Oh yes, this is like a department store. It's got two levels going up for more interesting things and ways to win on the challenge. Right, we're on the way up to the next level and all this has been turned over. So let's have a look. We've got, is that green or is it algae? Oh, it's a green bottle, very dirty. Let's have a look at my poor list. I've already lost one and I've killed Phil's. So we've done the vulcanized stopper. We haven't got a meat paste pop, barber ball toy bottle with writing, coloured glass bottle, yes! Kerching, and I've got another one. That's a dinky little bottle. Oh, isn't that sweet? I wonder what was in there. Some of it's still there and it doesn't look very healthy, does it? Ooh. Right, what's under there? No, oh, I think it's... Oh, wait a minute, it could be whole. But then if it's whole, has it got any writing on it? Oh, it is whole. Oh, it's got writing on it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And it's coloured. Let's clean that off. Disinfectant bleach cleanser. Domestos. Oh, yes. That is perfect. Not only does it have writing on, but it's amber glass. Oh, we're doing really well. What's that bit of red and white? No, I thought it was lino. It's not. I'm going to bring our list with us. <laughs> Poor thing. It's not very well. And here we got something. Oh, look. That is amber glass and it's a flask shape. Oh, that is so pretty. I wish we had more sun. It's about the best I can do. Right, let's keep looking. Oh, that's a big bottle. Oh, there's some really nice bottles here today. It's a flask shape. It's amber. Screw top. Any writing on there? Oh, there is, but without my glasses, not a chance of me seeing it. I think we'll start a pile. So we put that one there, and that one there, and that one there. Right, let's have a look. Ooh. Lots of goodies here today. Oh. And that's just a piece of plain china. What about this? Oh, that's pretty. Oh, it's blue as well as white and pink. Put that in a pile. And what's this? Oh, it's a broken teacup. Right, lots of jars and things. We're going to try to look for things that are actually on our list. We mustn't get distracted. Focus. It's so hard though, isn't it? With all these beautiful things around. There's a broken bottle. There's lots of broken bits and pieces. Little bits of slate and tiles. Right, so up on this level, it's been recently ploughed. So let's have a look at our list again. <laughs> Poor thing. We've got one of those, one of those. No, we haven't got a meat paste pot. So we're looking for a ball, a toy, and a meat paste pot first. That way then we can focus our minds. So, okay, are you looking for a ball, a toy, and a meat paste pot? You can see the track mark from the big digger, or whatever it was that they used, a JCB perhaps which would have probably smashed a lot of good bottles anyway because they're so heavy, yes, yeah, you can see there the weight of it has actually broken the bottles ja Oh! It's a little pretty green one! Ooh, I'll take that but it's not what we're looking for 
Come on, Caroline, focus. You're never going to win unless you focus. Hmm. Have you seen anything yet? I haven't heard anybody shouting. Maybe I'm a little bit deaf today. Maybe nobody's finding anything. What's that? Oh, there's a very messy little glass pot. We'll leave that there. On the way down earlier this morning, I could have sworn I saw a viral glass jar along here. But I thought, right, I'll come back for that when I'm actually taking part in the challenge. That would be a nice start, but do you think I can find it? So it possibly was here. What's that? Oh, a lump of metal. I thought that was a hammer. No, there's no viral jar here now. Oh, how disappointing. I love the shape on viral jars. What's that? It's green, so it's copper. Oh, and well that's broken it. I'm not quite sure what that was. I'm seeing bits now. Oh, look what we've got. We've got a paste pot. It's not got any exceptionally pretty patterning on, but it's a paste pot. Ship them, I'd say. There we go, another one off our list. What have you found, Mr Johnson? Right, me and Mankey haven't found anything on the list. Oh, good. But we're <laughs> working on the premise that seven is the perfect number, so perhaps we won't find the other three. Right. At least that makes us feel better. That is the second one with writing oh, on, because nice. it's a spoons bottle. A tablespoons for your medicine. Which Lovely. survived for 70 years in a dump and then got cracked as we got oh, it out. Oh, what a shame. Because it fell and it bumped into a stone. <laughs> so that was your fault? Yes. But a bit of a sweat. That one I liked. Oh, I thought cute. at first it was a Marmite jar. Mm, so no. slightly disappointed, but a nice push on lid, yep. lovely amber colour to it. It is very nice. So that's the second one of those. And then, of course, another, another paste, paste, paste pot. pot with shippings written on. Silk. <laughs> and a little bottle with a screw top and. And on the theme of little bottles, look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Very really curvy. Actually, found that on the edge of the river as we went to oh, wash right. the other bottles. That's really nice. Now then, Maggie wants to know, do you fancy a game of plain or patterned? Sounds like fun. Come on then. Let's play plain or patterned. Oh, here we got plain or... Oh, I'm, I'm on the very steep slope here, so it's a bit difficult. I are. might slide down. Let, I'll we're going to start with this one because there's a little bit of pink on it, so cheating really, we're going to say patterned. Very clever, it was plain. On the other hand, it, it could patterned. be patterned, but the wrong way up, is it? Or is that a chip? Well, I'm not sure. It was pink, and now I've wet it, it's darker. I tell you what, we'll just disallow that one. Yes, get rid of that. Now, that means me and Mankey can't go for our usual killer position of a draw. Right. So okay, I think then. there's no nine there. Well, I'm going to go for plain on this piece. Oh, no, patterned. One. One to us. This one patterned. Yes, one, one to, to me. You. Quite pretty, isn't it? It is. This one plain. Oh Patent. no, it's patterned. Two to us. This one plain again. Oh, oh no. We've got to lose. Three to us. We've got to lose. This one I'm going to say, I feel like I want to say plain, but it feels like it should be a patterned piece. Oh, that's really nice. Isn't Look at it? that. Found that down by the river when I was washing the bottles as well. Just notice now. I don't think it is, but that looks like it could have been a bee. Right, this one plain. Is that plain? Yep, yeah, that's just marks on it, I think, is it? is it? No, I think it could be patterned. It's patterned. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Another one for Phil. This one I'm going to say, oh, it's very fine patterned. Oh no, it's plain. I know, I thought that'd catch oh. you out. You always say the fine ones are patterned. Right. So well, we've won. You have. But now you're trying to play for glory and get four. Well, fine. No, I'll give it a try. This one patterned. It's plain. Oh, Six no. Oh, one to go. One to go, and I'm going to say plain. And it's, it's patterned. I don't mind. Oh. <laughs> so look a at the Phil's piles of my A wifi. victory, a victory. We don't get off in a victory. Do you know what? I think it was my lucky bit of conveyor belt. That's what it is. It's the pit conveyor belt that brought me the luck. Right, well, let's what throw that be? away. Do you want to see what I found? Go on, then. What have you found? Off the list, we've got... A bottle with writing on, but we should get double points because it's got Domestos written on it. You impressed? Oh, yes. And the lid. Yep. Ah, but we found it's not two... a vulcanised bottle stopper, mate. Yeah, and we found two bottles 
was writing on, so mm. kind of. And anyway, you're probably winning. What else have we found? <laughs> we found oh. a little bit of pipe stem. It's only a tiny bit. It counts. It's a pipe stem. That's all it says on the list. Stem or bowl. So that counts as well. So how many have you gone out? Do you know? No. <laughs> you <laughs> so don't know? Because we've still stuck on seven. I found my old list. Right. So I've got a vulcanized stopper, a meat yeah. paste pot, marmite or borrel jar. We haven't got a bowl or toy. A bottle with writing we got. A brick with a name on we got. Hello glass bottle we got, willow pattern, and a pipe stem or bowl. So we just need a bowl or a toy. So what you need about... two, I need three. Right. Because I need a toy, a pipe stem, and a marmite jar. Right. Right there. Well, I'll go and wash these for you, giving you yet more advantage as you head off and find the last two <laughs> things you need. <laughs> Okie dokie. Right, we're on this temp, which has been here for a while. But I just found this. Oh, as I touched it, the plastic lid completely broke down but look at that oh we had a little metal thing in too oh we'll take those with us see if there's any way we can put it back together it's amazing because we've had such heavy rain oh, there's a very noisy car things that we couldn't see before have all washed out there's something very green there the lid off something says sun Possibly flower. No, oh, my gloves are very dirty now. That's a big chunk of insulator and it's a dark one. We always find brown ones. I haven't found one that colour. Well, that's interesting. Still haven't found any toys or balls on. That's what we're really looking for. Well, a few minutes ago, I was filming a little video for Patreon and I found this little counter from a game. So I suppose I could count as a toy, but now I found a pair of legs. Hmm, so... Is Phil going to let me count that as a toy or does it need to be a whole one? Hmm, interesting. I'll pop those in my bag. We'll have a look if there's anything else toy related here. We're looking for a toy and a ball, really. It's a circle of something, possibly out of a clock. No idea. And, pop that there. Got an old toothbrush. Ew, I don't think we'll use that. Cars are noisy today. I think everybody with a noisy exhaust is driving past just when I turn the camera on. All right, there's a little something red there. No, a little tiny, tiny piece of red plastic. I'll take that home, put it in the bin. Aha, uh -huh, this is patent, I think. Yep, I think that's patent leather. Oh, that'll be perfect for my mudlarking collage. All right, I'll pop that in the bag. And there's some fabric there we could possibly use but there's an awful lot of it I wonder if I can just break some off there we go I'll take that I'll give it a wash I think that'll be quite good it may be we may not be able to clean it but I'll give it a go we still haven't found a whole toy on a ball though hmm this is getting to be very frustrating we don't know if Phil's finding anything down where he is he could be Something plastic there. Plastic is always a good chance it's something toy related. No, it's just a lid off something. Ooh, I don't know what that is. Doesn't look very really pleasant. What could that be? It's got all these marks on it. I probably don't want to know what it is, do I? It looks like a child's shoe though. There, and those marks. Okay, I'm gonna be brave and pick it up. Right, it looks to be off a toy. Wonder what that was. Definitely a shoe, but what was it off on? Is it a child's shoe? Right, I'm convinced it wasn't once alive, so I'm gonna take that home. I thought maybe it was a tooth or something, like a mammoth's tooth, but it's not. We'll take it home and see if we can find any information on it. If you know anything, let me know. What do you think? Well, here's Ted. Looking a lot better after Caroline's loving care. I'm giving him a good wash and cleaning him all up but I've got him down here now at the studio ready to get all parceled up for his journey to Germany 
where Tatiana is going to carry out her expertise and give him a new life. So, come on Ted, let's get packing. Right, first things first, we'd better get a box. Here's a box. Should be just about the right size. And now I'm just gonna get some nice comfy bubble wrap. Just to line the box a little, make it a little bit more soft and comfortable for your old Ted's journey. Because he should be a while out there in the company of the mailman and others as they transport him across Europe. Lovely job. Now then, I'm going to put Ted in here so that he's nice and safe and sound. There you go, boot. Can't remember there. Monkey's all ready to head off to the post office and send his friend off to Tatiana. And he's even put a nice sticker on the front of the parcel so that she'll know what it is when it arrives. So Monkey, you'd better get your seatbelt on, my friend. We're gonna make a move and head off down to the post office. anything I have but we have to admit we may have to settle for an outstanding victory at Plano Patton and concede the challenge today because we're not doing very well on our list right we are stuck on number seven but I've got a couple of finds to show you right and I also have got what I consider to be my best find of the day Ooh, let's have a look purely because I love it right so there's another bottle stopper. Another one, CWS, Cooperative Wholesale Society. And there's a nice little chunk of bracket. Oh Isn't yes, that, that is definitely a bracket. That is a bracket, I do like my brackets. Where well, there you are, I won't be pushed on the word cute, but it's definitely a bracket. But that is not <laughs> my best find. Well, what's your best find? I'm always saying, ultimately, if you love it, it's a treasure. Right. And I love this. Right. Because it's spring. Mm -hmm. We're in Wales. Yeah. For those who haven't recognised the accent, we're Welsh. And what is our national flower? Floribunda rose. <laughs> no, a daffodil. I'll take you anyway. Oh, look. It gets better. Oh, that's lovely. It gets better. I found that and then I found. Oh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, the rest and of it. If I take well, that. Some of it. And it will, I know, fit because I did it down oh, at the river when I washed look it. Look at that. I'm going to reassemble that like that, and I think... That is so pretty. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? That is lovely, isn't it? And for me, mm. that almost... Well, yes, it does. It beats winning at Plano Park. There you go. That's <laughs> You're a, happy that then. That is a joy. That is a treasure to take home, to repair, and then to display at our live show, 9 o'clock when we'll be able to show everybody what we've got. Yes, yeah, Saturday night, nine o'clock every week, we show you our finds and have a good old chat. Right, there are a few bottles here. I thought we could oh, have a little look. I'm reaching up. That one is screw top. It's plain, quite thick. And I can see one under here, which is, looks like a beer bottle. Full of dirt. Oh no, is that the flask one we found? I put one down and I couldn't find it. I think it is. Yes, that's an amber flask shaped bottle. That's one we put down, so this is a find for it the second time. Right, there's a bottle in there. Oh wow. Let's have a look at that one. Nothing written on it, I need to screw top. And there's this big chunky one. It's a screw top. Let's have a look what else we can see. 
There's a peace pot. You can see all the ash in this tip. And where it was a household dump. The main thing they were throwing in every day was ash from the coal fires. You have to be so careful because like that is a very nasty piece of glass, isn't it? Right, let's have a look. Ah, there's a brown bottle. What a lot of bottles today. Oh, it's like a coffin shape almost, that one, isn't it? Flask, but also coffin -y shape. Oh, look. There's another Bovril jar. Oh, we found two of those now. And we've got a piece pot. Let's see something under there. It's a jar. Bit of green tile. Right, I can see some bottles up there. I've got my grabby thingy, so that's not a problem. Now that one's got lines on it, but no writing. I uh, probably have to shave again because it's got a little tiny splosh it out type lid. And that looks like, oh, if you can get it, a sauce bottle again. Yep, nothing written on it. Let's keep working our way along. Here, what we can see. Nice, we got. Just tap that out there. That's quite a nice shit pot. I like that one. Don't know why, but I do. And we've got another sauce bottle. People around here must have eaten an awful lot of sauce. Oh, look. Can't believe this. There's another bovril jar. Oh, don't tell Phil, he'd be all jealous. Oh, it's a shoe. A beer bottle. And another sauce bottle. And let's have a look upwards. Hmm. Can't see anything there. There's a light bulb. Oh, it's broken. It's an interesting jar. And another paste pot. Who's that up there? Do you recognise that man? Hello! Right, we get on with looking. What's this shirt? Oh, it's cracked, I can see, but that's a nice shaped lid on that one. Some really nice bottles at the moment where they've just ploughed all this again. There's another one of those anti bird explosion devices, which is quite broken. I don't think we're going to find anything. I'm being a little bit more broad-minded now I'm walking along for the second time. The first time I was so busy trying to win the competition. But now I'm thinking, well, I've got a few things. I'm going to enjoy the medlar. Oh, look, that's a cute little bottle there. And what's that? <laughs> a wedge of wood. Hmm. Ah, does that have a stopper in? Oh, no, it's a patterned edge to the bottle. I thought maybe that had a vulcanite bottle stopper in, but it doesn't. Ooh, there's a big lump of chewed up glass. Oh, it's been, whoops, dropped me. It's been on fire. Oh, Phil will like that. He likes things that have been burnt in the fire glass. We'll take that for Phil. Got to try and remember now where I put everything. I leave little piles around the place and I forget where I put them. What's this? And I don't know what that is. But it seems to be copper or brass. And I like that. I like little bits of copper and brass, so I'm going to take that with me. Right. Let's go and find a pile and carry on putting my things down on it. Hmm. <laughs> Can you see my pile? It's a piece of ridge pottery. What would a mudlap be without ridge pottery? There's some ridge glass too. That pipe looks like lead. I know how we can tell if it's lead. Oh wow, <laughs> that's lead. It's so heavy. Look how thick it is. Amazing to think we used to use these for our water pipes. You know what they say about buses? You wait for ages and a few come along together. Can you see in the water there? We've got an insulator. And another insulator. And if I can get it out. 
Now you have to take my word from it. There's another insulator there. There's a disc there that I'm assuming is off an insulator. And, whoops, the disc is falling. There's another insulator there. Four in a row. So that water's very murky now, so you can't see them. I got some things. Oh, what have you found? Anything exciting? Oh, uh, yes. Right, we'll come and see right straight away. Will. So what have you got, Mr. Johnson? Nothing off the list. Oh. <laughs> Neely thought we had something off the list. Me and Mankey were thrilled. We thought yeah. we got a pipe bowl. Oh, right. What did you get? No, we got a blinking cockle shell. <laughs> but they yeah. don't half look like pipe bowls when they're partly buried, I tell you. It looks oh. like a patent pipe bowl. Poor thing. We found more than one cockle shell after that one, but yep. we decided one was enough to prove our point. Yes. We found another. Oh, another bottle stopper. Well done. And yet another little baby shipping's jar. Oh, you've done well on shipping's jars as I've well. I've done very well on shipping's jar. Unlike a certain lady around here who's done very well on bovril jars and I haven't found one. Do you want to see mine? Oh. Uh, I've got that bovril jar. And that one. And that one. And I believe you've already got one in my bag. Yep, so it's four. Four to our none. But we still only get one point for actually ticking something off. So. But I have got a very large, I got the largest brown bottle find of the day, Ooh, and right. it's a cracker. Right, let's have a look. A cracker or crack? No problems, dear. Have you? Oh, that's rather full, isn't it? Look it is at a, that. It's a bit full now, isn't it? Yes. And, and, and not the staffing doesn't help. Look at that. What a lot of bits and pieces. So I won't be put, there we are, and I've got to put this in as well. Great in it. Right, I think that's us done for that, but I'll carry the other one in my hand, because right. here I have it. Let's have a look. Oh, that's nice. Now, big brown bottle. Mm -hmm. The stopper gives the age. Right, what's on it? I can't see. There's nothing on it, but it's got a dip. Oh, right, so it's a wartime one. So it's wartime, one. and it's Cardiff Brewery. Oh, lovely. Very nice. There we go. You're a happy man, then. I am a happy man, even if you are beating me in the challenge. How many things have you got left on your list? Still three. Oh, we've still got two. Ah. Well, we've got something that may pass. Has it got to be a complete toy? No. Ah, there you are then. That'll count. Got a pair of legs. You're in. <laughs> you win. You've got nine, I got seven, but I haven't finished looking yet. Right. Well, I'm going to keep looking for a ball and we'll see how it goes. Oh, we know. Oh, well, still no sign of a ball, but I have spotted this little tiny bottle. And that's so pretty. Oh, no. There's a little baby paste box. It's only a tiny one. Very cute though. Mmm, that looks pretty. What is it? Ah, there's a lot of it. Right, it's a scarf or something. Hmm. See if we can tear some off. There we go, we'll take that home. Try that out for our collars because they are some yellow bits on it so it could be really pretty you there in the sunshine we'll give that a try hopefully we can get it clean or at least slightly cleaner than it is let's have a look what we got here oh that's a really cute little jar and this whole was a nice treat something written on the bottom jl and co limited and somewhere along here i found a nail brush not in very good condition but useful for a much darker we've always got dirty nails I'll never be well manicured while I'm a mudlarker. And anything else here? Let's have a look. Still no ball. I think I'm going to have to give up on this ball. We haven't done bad though. We've got nine out of ten things. There's a paste pot. And there's a little jar. Lots of little bottles. Wow, look at all this glass. Got to be very careful where you tread. Right, let's set some music going and you can settle back with your cuppa, have a look and see if you spot anything interesting. I'll be coming back again later to have another look over everything. So if I heard you shouting, I can always go back and see what you found.
Now this white has drawn my eye. Oh, I hope that's whole. Oh, it is. Oh, that is so pretty. Look at the pattern on that. And there's a little CWS bottle, probably orange juice. And another sauce bottle. That looks like a gravy browning bottle to me. I don't know if it is. We've got a flask shaped bottle. Ooh. And this glass lid thing. I think somebody's made a pile and forgotten where they put it. I'm doing that all the time. I just thought that uh, my little tile, I know you've seen it before, but up against these beautiful snowdrops, it oh. just proves what a perfect spring day and what a wonderful find. That is very pretty. What else have you got? I have got a milk bottle. Oh, right. What does it say on there? PTD. Now I'm going right. to assume the last letter is dairies. Pure milk. It's pure milk, yes. Mm. Well, it's not anymore, but um, no. <laughs> it is PTD, so we'll have to check our one out. I don't think we've seen that before. No, we've never seen that. I found a brick. Right. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at that. It's like a corner off the showers of the baths, do you think? It's got to be pithead baths or a public lavatories. Yep. I'm going for pithead baths in this area. And Very I'll nice. have to clean up afterwards and have a little look inside there and see if we can get some letters off it. Right. I found this. That's cute. And I love it because it's a poison bottle. Oh, see. yes. You see the ridges. Yeah. It would have been lovely if it had been a bovril or marmite jar. Yep. And in all honesty, I wish I'd put the Brill Cream jar on now instead, because that must <laughs> you have You chose the list. I found about 10 of those today, yep. I think. And I found this, which kind of confused me a little, because I thought it was just the bottom of a bottle, and I kicked it and realised it's not. It yeah. is whatever it is, it's a fully formed one of them. Oh, I'm going to use that as a paint palette. I think it possibly it could be a lens of a car, I'm not quite sure. There you go. The car light. And although Mankey and I must concede defeat, I think, today, we'll check in a moment, but I'm pretty sure it's going to come out 8-9. You got beaten by a ball. Yep, I did. I couldn't find a ball, and we always find a ball. Yeah, and you found every Bovril and Marmite jar on the site. Yep. <laughs> which left us losing by one. But we have found one. Not the pipe stem, but we have a toy. Oh, it's a bit of a block. Very nice. Yeah, well, if you can have half a body, we can have half a block. There you go, yep, that counts. I got a feeling it's going to come out that neither of us got 10 out of 10, but I think you pipped the post and got 9 to our 8. We'll find out when you check on the tarry. Let's have a look. Well, folks, if you've enjoyed this trip today, please give us a thumbs up. That would be great. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And please, if you've got friends who would enjoy these adventures with us and you, then send them a link, let them know and share it with everyone. So until the next time, we're out having an adventure on the river or digging in a dump. Don't forget, have fun. Bye. Bye.